Hello everyone, welcome to From the Heart. I'm Joshua. And I'm Mary. We're excited to bring to you all that's new and good when it comes to the arts in Central Florida. Here with us today is Terry Olson, Director of the Orange County Arts and Cultural Affairs Office. We're learning about his vision for the future of the theater, the arts in Orange County. Welcome Terry. Welcome Terry. Glad to be here. So tell us, what do you think is the future? Is it bright? Certainly. We uh, have all the elements to be that world cultural capital that we are becoming. And um, I think we now are a place where people come sometimes as a stepping stone to go on to bigger careers. But I see the future where people come here to make their career. Mm. And um, that's happening more and more. How do you think the Art Center that's coming will be, uh, how will it affect the community? The Performing Arts Center, which is the newest and most advanced and probably the most wonderful Performing Arts Center in the world, is going to be a great boon to our community and we'll draw performers that we didn't get here before from all over the world will want to come and perform in our Performing Arts Center. So that's going to be great. And that kind of germination of people from all over the world is what sparks creativity and innovation. And so I see us becoming a place, as is happening some now, but even more so, where we are exporting, where things start here and they spread. Is there a great partnership between Orange County and the New Art Center? Well, there's a great partnership in lots of funding for that <laughs> from the Art Center, for well, sure. I, I need it, for sure. What are some other ways that you're partnering together? Well, uh, there's nothing official, really, although I've uh, arranged for some backstage tours for people that I felt needed to know about that. And um, one advantage of having been in the community for three decades or more is... Um, I'm able to know what the resources and people are to connect. So when people want to do something, they've got an idea, I am often a source for, well, you need to connect with this person, mm. connect here, um, and I love being that kind of connector person. You really are good at that. Mm -hmm. You're like Absolutely. the arts yenta of Orlando. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> what has, the Dr. Phillips Art Center, what has that opened up in terms of other people coming to Orlando? certainly with their opening festivities with kind of something for everything, uh, for everybody, <laughs> everything to um, all those non-human <laughs> entities that are coming. That's uh, so being, it's philosophy, which is arts for every life, I think is great. There are such a plethora of genres of styles of performing arts and, and it's a performing arts center not a visual arts center um, but in the performing arts we're going to see a lot of unique things there I believe. I love that Robin said that he wants th that the center is going to be the they want it to be the heart of Orlando mm -hmm. the pulse and I love that something artistic art um, from the heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's very nice. Well, we've talked a little about this, this before. You know, we've talked about how this is a, a mecca for performers from all over, partly because of the theme parks, but partly because, you know, Orlando is becoming rich in, in arts and culture. And we've talked about sometimes the imbalance of there being so many performers and maybe not always enough patrons to support all those performers, some of the fledgling arts organizations and such. Do you think because of the spotlight now that seems to really be bringing us more into the light, that's gonna help that a little bit? We're, we're gonna see that start to balance more? Definitely, with something so big and central as the Performing Arts Center, it draws more attention mm -hmm. than a number of little things happening. There are um, all kinds of arts happening every weekend. There's dozens of things in performing and visual arts that one can take advantage of if they want to, but um, put that all together and put a big uh, organization like the Performing Arts Center in the middle of it, it draws more attention, mm -hmm. gives more awareness, which is great for everybody. And when the Performing Arts Center was announced that it was gonna happen a number of years ago, I saw that trickle down um, groups uh, in Sanford saw kind of a more awareness of what they were doing because they were aware of the arts that uh, Central Florida and Orlando and Orange County was not a cultural wasteland. It was mm. a place where there was lots of vibrant mm -hmm. arts and culture happening. Do you have a recollection of a person or a family who maybe spoke to you about how their life has been enhanced because of the arts here in Orlando? Well, what first came to my mind is my own family, my own daughter who um, resisted reading uh, 
into elementary school, it was the arts that helped her and gave her the impetus and the desire to work in that area. So the arts have been very influential in the education of my own daughter. Mm -hmm. We met a young lady, Diane, mm -hmm. uh, who moved here. She did a Pashaka show uh, and showed a photo of her van moving, divorce, and came here and started volunteering for all the different arts organizations around theaters, even Central Florida Community Arts. And, talk, and her whole talk was about how she connected to the community, to the heart of the community, and how she found herself through volunteering, but through the arts. And it just gave me chills to think of how someone could come to our town and find home through mm -hmm. the arts. Yep. Yeah, and you know, one of the questions I have for you, Terry, just as kind of a segue from that, as an arts leader, we hear that word sustainability thrown out a whole lot. There's so many people that will be listening to this that might have their hand somewhere in some arts organizations. There's so many in the seven county area. What advice would you give about sustainability? What would you say to an arts leader? Uh, what is the key to be able to sustain a vision and sustain a dream and be able to be here five years from now in the world where there are so many offerings? 20 now. years from now. Yeah, 20 years from now. So I think the key to sustainability is keeping innovative and important. Mm. In other words, we don't need more things that are okay, that maybe kind of bore us or whatever, but as we stay vibrant and relevant to today, that's where sustainability comes in. And sustainability does not mean, mean that it earns all its money through ticket sales. Mm -hmm. um, in thousands of years of human history, that has never been the case. Um, commercial theater perhaps, but it's got a, a, a very particular niche. Um, sustainability means keeping vibrant so that funding sources, that donors, the corporations, the governments, want to continue to add their part of the investment to make that happen. Mm. So that's where the leadership comes in to go with the change, the change of society and to reflect that so that you're not just doing the same old thing. Yeah, and I love that you said the word relevant because I think that's so important as we look at the future of the arts. How does relevance play into sustainability? Well, let's take the, in government, we support roads, right? But if there's a road that goes nowhere, hmm. um, we don't keep it up, right? But roads that people use that are important to get people from one place to another, those are roads that we continually invest in. Mm -hmm. it's the, they don't pay for themselves. Roads mm -hmm. don't pay for themselves. <laughs> right. um, but it's important for our community to have them because it's going somewhere. So I would think, say the same yeah, thing yeah. is for mm -hmm. the arts. Wonderful. Um, if the arts are going somewhere, if they're relevant to us, if they touch our lives, then governments and individuals feel it's important to continue to invest into that so it continues. And then expand. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Terry, for joining us today and telling us all about the arts in Orange County and your role. It's been wonderful to learn about it and thank you for your influence. Thank you, Terry. Thank you from my heart to yours. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining Mary and I. Our conversation with Terry Olson was inspiring. We hope you run into Terry at an art event around town. And if you do, make sure to tell him that Joshua and Mary say hello. From the heart.